We are here at the Bicycle Casino for the Legends of Poker. Today was day two, and right now there are less than 100 players remaining of the 485 who began in this tournament. One of the chip leaders is Raymond Davis. Well, I picked off a couple of big bluffs. Uh, one time I called a guy with third pair for about 50000 and then I called a guy with jack high. No pair, no straight, just jack high on him. Deuce, deuce, three, three, seven board. I called with Jack High. What made you make that call? How'd you know? I put him on four or five. I put him on four or five suit, and that's exactly what he had. He threw away his hand and uh, tapped out the table. But I showed him what I called him with. I want to show people that I'm going to call you. I'm not going to be bluffed out of this tournament. So the player's giving you a little bit more respect now? Nope. They're still playing back at me, but, uh, you know, I stay out of their way and pick up pots I can and just try to chip away. Any big hands in the last level? Uh, I just had two kings on a raise, re-raise flop, but I moved it in before the flop got it over with. So other than that, I'm playing good poker. So you're up there on the top of the chip count. Do you think you're going to sail right into that final table? Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm trying to sail into it. It's, it's tough. It's a long battle. I figure if I could get my chips up to half a million, you know, uh, by the end of uh, the middle of tomorrow, I'll be in good shape. You know, that's what I'm driving for. Miami John Cernudo has been short stacked all day, but he's hanging in there. I'm going to write a book called Short Stack Strategy by... No, really, John. How have you been hanging in there? I've been meditating, trying to keep myself calm. I've looked at nine dudes all day long. It's making me ill. My, uh, my stomach is starting to bubble up. I'm ready to vomit, but I'm still in there. But uh, really, I've been just playing pretty good poker, just all short stack. I've had a total of uh, four hands all day. Pocket fives has been my best hand so far. Have you moved all in yet? Uh, I've uh, been all in twice. Once with ace-jack, once with king-10. I won both of them. So my marginal hands have gotten there, but I only get one every three hours, so what difference does it make? Well, I hope you get some better hands after this break and you can build your stack up. Thanks so much, John. It's got to get better, baby. Tuan Lee is playing very passively, just like he usually does. Oh, I played like jack, six of spades, and I played like nine, three of hearts. So that's good strategy? It's not textbook strategy, but it's my strategy. I've heard you've been very aggressive today. Is there truth to this rumor? No, no, no. I've been really passive, and I played a lot of premium hands as usual. Did the camera get that? <laughs> <laughs> so, how many pots have you been involved in in say the last few minutes? This guy raises me every it does, every single time. This guy stole from me. I re raise him one hand. You almost has a conniption for your head almost popped he off. He stole from me. Every he told hand. me he's been playing very passively, only premium yeah, hands. right. You know, th no. The difference is Twan doesn't know how to play passively. He doesn't know what that word means. How to spell it, what it means, how it could have bought a poker. All right, you're <laughs> Tomorrow we'll be back here at the bike for day three of the Legends of Poker. There's going to be a lot of action, and you can follow it all on CardPlayer.com. I'm Lizzie Harrison for CardPlayer TV.